Hey yogis, my name is Bruce Chung and I've got the lovely Nina Butler here to help me with this short practice that is going to help bring more range into your shoulders. The focus will primarily be on the external rotators of the shoulder and bringing strength there, but throughout the practice we'll be getting into the full range. You will need a block and a strap might be handy, but for now, let's grab the yoga block. So you're going to hold the yoga block out in front of you, go ahead, Nina, with your palms facing forward and the thumb and index sort of cupping the block uh, at its edges. Here, Nina's elbows are bent to about 90 degrees, and I want you guys also to have the elbows around the height of the shoulder. In fact, I would say, Nina, you can bring your, the backs of your hands just a little bit closer towards you. Good. Now you're going to breathe in here, and then the space between your inner elbows, I want you to hug that in tight. Now, as those inner elbows come closer together, you may notice your palms wanting to wrap around the block. Do your best to keep the palms facing forward. You continue to draw that space of the inner elbows close and at the same time take the tops of the shoulders, roll them down and away from the ears. Let's hold that for one more inhalation. Tighten the belly as you exhale. Good. Keep holding onto the block and then with your elbows staying at this angle, begin to lift your upper arm bones towards the sides of your head. Towards the sides of your head. Good. Exactly. And then you may notice some of you guys that your ribs start to flare up. So you're going to draw those ribs down and then work against that resistance of upper arms going back. Very nice. And so I can see here that Nina's head has stayed in neutral the whole while. Some of you guys might actually jut the head forward, keep drawing back through the chin. We'll take another breath in, firm the elbows. Good. And let's straighten the arms and then we'll release the block down. Please step into a downward facing dog when you're ready. Okay, so we'll just take a couple of moments here in our downward facing dog pose. Okay, turn the heels out so when you look at the feet, the heels are hidden behind the toes. And empty the lungs, exhale. Okay, inhale forward towards high plank posture. Begin lowering your body slowly towards the earth. Come all the way down. Good. So let's get you to be completely on your yoga mat here, Nina. And then we're going to take the right arm into a cactus shape. Okay, so it's like cactus arms, but for now, we're only doing the right side. Your left arm, let's go ahead and bring it directly beside our body. So this left side is relaxed. From this position, I want you guys to keep everything unmoving, okay? Meaning to say the hips remain neutral, the belly remains neutral. All you are going to do here is press the right hand firmly into the floor. Press the inner right elbow firmly into the floor. So you resist the whole of this arm into the ground. And what begins to happen is a hollowing underneath the right bicep, a hollowing underneath the right side of the chest. Notice if you're leaning a little bit towards the side. Keep your body neutral. Take another breath. And then you can relax the arm completely. Now with this same arm, keeping the elbow at 90 degrees, I want you to float the arm off the floor. So imagine that you have perhaps a board, let's say, resting on top of the arm. You, when the arm lifts, you keep that board straight. Some of you might feel inclined to bend the wrist. Keep the wrist straight on both sides. See if you can lift your arm higher. Exactly. And then lower your arm down to rest. So in that movement, when we had the arm lifted, the shoulder was, for the most part, in neutral. One more time, let the arm lift up. The shoulder is neutral for now, and then in a moment, I want you to externally rotate the shoulder as best as you can. 
So depending on your shoulder range, the tightness, the weakness, and so on, you may only get a little bit of opening in the palm. I just want you to make sure that when you externally rotate the shoulder, you're not bending the wrist. Keep the wrist straight, but think of turning the inner right elbow to point towards the floor. The forearm might get a little bit higher than the elbow, and then release your right arm down. Relax completely. Let's do that on the left side. Right arm beside you, let it be straight and relax. Left elbow into cactus. So use your eyesight, look at your elbow, have it in line with the shoulder and the wrist in line with the elbow. Now we start by resisting the ground. Allow that left hand to press firmly into the mat. Allow the inner left elbow to press firmly into the ground. You're going to start feeling all of this around the shoulder activate with a hollowing underneath the bicep, with a hollowing underneath the chest. Let's give another breath. Push deep into the floor and then relax the shoulder. Just let everything relax. And you can see, you could see that uh, Nina's shoulder was really fired up there. Now, keeping everything the same with the arm, let's simply float the arm up. Lift your arm. Good. Shoulder, for the most part, stays neutral. All we're doing is keeping the arm at this angle, but floating it up and off of the ground. Take another moment and just feel your own strength support the lift. And then release your arm down for a moment. Take a breath in and a breath out. One last time, everyone, lift your left arm off of the ground. Without bending your wrist, begin to externally rotate the shoulder as though you want the palm to face forward. So when you're not quite used to this movement, again, you may notice here, guys, that your wrist is wanting to bend. Without bending the wrist, rotate the shoulder as though you could turn the palm to face the front. Good, exactly like that. Now I'm gonna let go, but hold it as it is. And then release your arm completely beside your body. Exhale completely. Let's bring our hands to clasp behind the back. Interlock the fingers together. Okay, make sure you can squeeze between the palms and then inhale, lift your chest, your arms, your head. Make sure, guys, that as you're lifting the head, you're not straining your neck. Think of the neck as the same line as the spine. Let's start to take the thumbs higher. And then I want you to gently move your arms from right to left. Just move a little side to side as though you are flossing the shoulder blades exactly like that, Nina. And then let your arms go center and lift your body up a little bit higher. Excellent. Come down nice and slowly. Hands beside your chest and child's pose. Come to child's pose. Full inhalation, full exhalation. Table top. We're moving to our hands and our knees. So we're going to come into an exercise where we are balancing ourselves on one hand, but both knees. If you feel a bit of stress in your wrist, please feel free to come onto a fist. Nina, can you just show what it's like to be on the fist? Just like that, okay? Only if you feel like you need to. Let's go back to hands flat. And then on your next inhalation, reach your right arm forward. So guys, when you reach your right arm up and forward, I want the palm to face in. The palm is facing inwards without opening the chest. So for the most part, you keep your chest neutral, you keep the belly neutral. And when I say neutral, I mean try to keep both sides evenly facing the ground. Can you lift your right thumb higher? Good. From this position, we'll begin to internally rotate our right shoulder. Good, so when you do that, the palm faces the right, the thumb faces the floor. Continue to internally rotate the shoulder as you reach your arm up, to the side and back. Keep internally rotating, and then once the arm is beside you, hold and see if you can find a little bit more of that internal rotation. Again, mindful not to bend the wrist. 
Now I know this is hard work, so stay with breath in and out. Steady breath in and out. Now bend your right elbow so the right forearm hovers above your lower back. Now without breaking the wrist, keep lifting the right forearm higher. Now straighten your right elbow completely. Find a little bit more internal rotation. Find a little bit more shoulder extension arm higher. Now keep your arm at its height, externally rotate, externally rotate, and then continue the external rotation as the arm goes back to where it was. Hold it there with your chest even to the floor, lift your right thumb higher. And then release your right hand to the ground for tabletop pose. And then let's simply come up onto our left finger pads. And then hold on your left finger pads, gently pushing into the ground, bringing a little bit of relief for the wrist. And then let's go left hand flat. Are you okay to continue? Let's bring the left arm forward. So when your left arm goes up and forward, remember that for the time being, our palm faces the center. Without opening your chest, let the left thumb rise higher. Now begin to internally rotate the shoulder like you're rolling your bicep to face the left side. Now as our arm goes to the side and back, continue the internal rotation as best as you can. Find more range. Once the arm is at the side, hold it. Let's notice if your wrist is bending, straighten it, and then find more extension, lift higher. Now from there, bend your elbow so the forearm hovers above your lower back. And then see if you can lift your left forearm up even higher. Straighten the elbow completely. Internally rotate a touch more, Nina, and lift the arm higher. Now start to open up. Externally rotate the shoulder as the arm goes to the side and forward. Beautiful. Hold it. Without opening the chest, lift the thumb higher and release your left hand to the yoga mat. Come up onto right fingertips. Gently push into your right finger pads. And then bring your right hand flat. Let's take a downward facing dog pose here. Relax the neck completely and see if you can find that same rotation outwards, that same external rotation of the shoulders here. And then take two more breaths in and out. Okay, lower down onto your knees and let's sit in hero pose, hips on heels and sit upright. Okay, thank you, Nina. And you guys at home, let me know how your shoulders feel in the comments below.